So this video is a bit of a departure from the normal ones that I've done where I've done a whole thing all in one video but um, I'm also aware that there are plenty of people out there that would like to to get a bit more um, advanced or a bit uh, a bit more creative with their landscape so I'm, so. I'm not trained as an artist however I, when I started working with glass I wanted to work in a more painterly way so what I'm going to show you is an amalgamation of things that work for me in my style and how I move forward in my practice to create the landscapes that I do. I'm hoping what I might give you now are some ways that you could start to move forward and, and work it out for yourself that this is how I did it. But it's like this is what you need to think about when you're thinking about landscapes. That I have learned more than anything over the last five years is how to see yeah, <laughs> what we know in glass terms is what you see is not what you get. So to full fuse or not to full fuse, it depends on the atmosphere for me. If, yeah. um, if I... Be inspired by nature, but, but don't be a slave to it. Um, I hope this little video, really what I wanted to do was give you uh, food for thought. And don't get hung up on not being able to paint. But I've only been doing... Um, these landscapes for two, three years now. I absolutely love them though, and for me, I can see that that's where my practice is going to go, at least uh, for the next little while yet. Um, so if you've got any ideas as well, as I say, I'm not putting myself up there as the person who knows it all, absolutely no way. If you've got any tips or tricks, things you use to create landscapes, please, please share in the forum. That's lovely.